This video here is to uh, go ahead and disassemble and replace the screen on a Motorola Moto X. I'll be doing a few other things within this video as well. A few tools you'll need is a Torx, small Torx wrench, a couple of guitar picks um, to open the screen up, a metal spudger just in case things get a little tricky with the screen itself, a couple of nylon spudgers to help us pry up any cables on the interior portion or onto the logic boards of the device. We also will be needing a heat gun, uh, which we'll be using to uh, pull the screen and the back off this foam. Make sure your device is powered off. And also make sure that you've removed your SIM slot. The other things we'll be doing in this video is replacing the battery. And I will also be replacing the back on the device. Uh, the phone will not power on at this point, uh, so we'll kind of determine that as we go, uh, what's causing that. We're going to take a guitar pick and go ahead and start our way around the screen. There's some little connections uh, that hold the backing onto the device. You can see as I slide my guitar pick in, uh, it'll basically just pop these little connectors off. There's a lot of them around the device. You want to be careful in a few spots if you're looking to retain the back of your phone around the headphone jack. You want to be careful around the uh, buttons and the SIM slot as well. It seems like this is a place where the screen will crack. There's a connection point right in between the two power buttons, the power and the volume. Uh, that's a, a tricky spot as well. So let's move our guitar pick around. Now there is some adhesive on the back of this device which causes the screen to basically reconnect itself once you've unpopped it. Uh, so you want to kind of make sure that all of the connections are, are lifted before you start trying to pry the back off of the device. You can see that we'll just kind of pull it away a little bit as we go once we get a lot of the clips undone. See the top part has reconnected itself. So let's put my finger in here, hold it open a little bit as we snap these connectors off. You can see there's a connection right here that reclipped itself as well, right in between the volume and the power button. Right there. Now what we're going to do is, now that we have the back kind of snapped off, and you could do this beforehand, you could warm the back of the device up. Uh, we're just going to use a heat gun here and give it a little bit of heat on the back of the phone. It doesn't have to be extremely hot. Uh, we definitely don't want to melt the plastic backing um, or loosen the lens to the camera. Really, we're just looking to get it nice and warm, make the adhesive holding the back onto the phone a little bit more pliable. Now moving it around, I don't want to hold it in one spot. I definitely that'll cause melting. I'm going to use a plastic spudger to kind of see what I need to get. So as I pull this open, you can see it's already got a crack in the the backing, which is part of the reason why I'm replacing it. You can see there's a little blue membrane in here. Uh, you don't want to rip that. So what I'm doing is I'm sticking my spudger in against the battery on the device, and I'm basically just prying it sideways. Now you want to be careful. There's a, a two or ribbon cables in here that you might catch. One's to the LED flash on the back of the phone and the other connects the uh, power button and volume button of the device. So I'm just going to stick this in. We're just going to basically twist my pry tool back. Now the back of this phone is pretty agile. You can bend it a little bit without it snapping. Um, <clears throat> it can be tricky to not crack it though. Uh, so be a little bit careful as you're prying this back off. It can be a little bit of a pain the first couple times that you do it. So it doesn't feel like it's uh, warm enough anymore. So I'm going to heat it up in the spot where it has the most adhesive, which is really just right underneath the Motorola logo. Trying to figure out how warm it is. So again, we'll just put our pry tool in and pry it, kind of wiggle it back and forth. You can see that the back of the phone starting to pull itself away from the battery. So right to the left of the Motorola logo, 
um, is going to be the ribbon cable that you want to be a little bit careful with. You can also see that there's a sticker on top of the battery, um, the X8 Motorola sticker. You want to pry on top of that, not underneath it. So now we have a large portion of it undone. It looks like my top re-clicked itself back in, so we're just going to make sure these connections are undone up here. I've got enough of the backing done. We can go ahead and start to pull the cover just back away from the phone. kind of reconnecting itself being a little bit tricky see the headphone jack also has a crack in it which is prior to removing the back as well I think somebody has undone this device before um, which may be why it doesn't power on so we'll kind of take a look at that all right so right here is the connection I was talking about you want to kind of open the phone like a book. See our power button fell out, which is definitely okay. Now there's two little clips here uh, that hold the cables in. This one here for the LED. And this one, oh actually this probably is why the power button's not functioning properly for us. It looks like the power cable doesn't have a flip. Normally there's a little clip right here you'd pull up. It's a little clear plastic piece. It definitely is missing so it looks like somebody damaged that as they're removing the back. Uh, so be careful of that. It's something that does happen on these devices. We didn't see any debris fall out so don't believe it was me. So we'll go ahead and use our Torx driver here. We're going to undo the four screws at the bottom that are holding the bottom cover on. screw this doesn't want to come out of its slot not a problem we're just going to put our nylon tool underneath and just basically just twist it a little bit underneath the cover here it should just pop right off for us there's a couple little clips right here on the side it's kind of clipped into its place on the right hand side of the device so you don't want to pry too hard pulling that away we'll go ahead and reveal the charge port and the battery cable connections for us there's a little bit of adhesive right here to the right of the charge port as well which kind of holds the backing on. Now we can go ahead and pop up the battery connection on the phone. And this additional ribbon cable right here. There's also a little bit of adhesive that's holding down this uh, bridge cable here uh, for the power button and the flash. I'm going to work on removing the battery here. There's this black ribbon cable, uh, this black piece of uh, tape here. Uh, this is a pull tab for the battery. Let's pull that back. And kind of pull on it, see the battery will pop out for us. Um, that was easier than normal. <laughs> Somebody must have removed this beforehand. Normally expect a little bit more resistance on the battery. You need to put a spudger underneath it and twist it. That's definitely something that's uh, possible. Just don't puncture your battery. I'm going to remove the additional screws that are holding in the top plate here for us. Now these back plate screws are all the same length and size. Uh, so don't worry about mixing them up. You can put them all in the same pile. work on prying this out. This right side right here is where it kind of clips in. I'm going to pry on this left side and kind of work our way over, see if we can get it to loosen up a little bit before we get there. 
So you're just taking our time, inserting the nylon spudger and just wiggling it back and forth. So now we can pop it right out. And we'll go ahead and remove for us. Let's go ahead and pop this bridge cable off right here. I'll have to replace that as well. You can see that it's missing that connection piece I was talking about earlier. We have a few more ribbon cables we're going to pop off here. This one for the microphone, I believe, is what this is. It's got a little connection clip. Normally, if you stick your spudger just right in the middle of it and pry up, it'll pop right off for us. Just like so. You can see it's got a little bit of a connection here on the front of the mic where it clips on. Ribbon cable for the front facing camera. It's being gentle as you pull that out as well. That'll pop right off for us. Two more screws for a SIM slot bracket here. Now with all those screws removed, we're going to go ahead and remove the board out of this device. I'm basically just sticking my spudger underneath the board, being nice and gentle, just kind of twisting it back and forth. I get the board to kind of loosen its way away from the frame here. Perfect. There's a connection that connects to the LCD cable to the back of the board here, so make sure you just open it the same kind of way with the back, just like a book. You want to put your spudger in and twist this tab up. Now you want to use something that's uh, pretty lengthy and flat. You don't want to use a pointy piece. These things will snap uh, pretty easy. So make sure you use something that's kind of wide to open that up. Now with that done, that'll leave us our LCD display portion. Uh, looking at our new portion, we have a full assembly piece here. Uh, we're going to look and see what we need to transfer uh, from one to the other. We do need to take off our volume and power button. These are held off with just a little bit of heat. So there's also pins where they kind of fit back onto the back. So uh, be careful as you wiggle these off. You can use a little bit of heat if they're a little bit tricky to get these to pry away from the device, depending upon the amount of adhesive that was used. They're stuck on there pretty good. Looks like we'll have to use a little bit of heat to get this off. Let's bring our heat gun back out. Now this won't take a lot of heat to do this. You definitely don't want to damage the cable. Perfect. We can go ahead and twist this off. You can see it's a little bit looser. It'll pop right off here for us. Do the power button here now as well. Go ahead and pull that away from the device. Take a look and see if there's anything else that we need to get out of here. Our earpiece speaker is going to need to pop out. Well, usually something kind of pointy will help us get this out of here. Be careful not to rip the speaker. You can also use a little bit of heat here as well if you need to.
it looks like we have everything that we need to make the transfer from one to the other. So this will complete our disassembly. Uh, there will be some more videos down in the description of this if you'd like to check those out. Uh, basically, removing the frame away from the bezel here, and replacing a glass only or a assembly if you need to. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments. As always, I appreciate you watching the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.